Practical English, responding to bad news from EspressoEnglish.net It can be hard to know how to respond appropriately when you hear some bad news. In today's lesson, you'll learn some useful English phrases. I'm so sorry to hear that. Say this when you hear about sickness, death, divorce, job loss, financial trouble, big disappointment, and other serious problems or pieces of bad news that can make a person very sad. For example, My father's in the hospital. The doctors say he only has about a month left. I'm so sorry to hear that. That must have been awful. You can say this when someone tells you about a bad experience they had. This phrase can be used for a serious bad experience or a less serious bad experience. For example, After the accident, I couldn't work for two months, and I got really depressed because I felt so useless. Wow, that must have been awful. I had to wait in line for three hours at the bank today, and there was no air conditioning. That must have been awful. As you can see, the first situation is more serious, and the second situation is less serious, but we can use that must have been awful for both. An alternative, which is only used in more serious situations, is it must have been really hard for you. For example, it must have been really hard for you to have two deaths in the family within a year. You can say, oh no as an initial reaction to bad news. It's common to say, oh no, and then another one of the phrases. For example, my sister just got the results of her test. She has cancer. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. My computer crashed and I lost all my data. Oh no, that stinks. That stinks is used for less serious, more annoying situations. Don't use that stinks for serious sad situations. If the bad news is surprising or funny, you can say, oh no, as an exclamation. For example, I was talking about how much I hated the name Shelby, and then I found out that it was their daughter's name. Oh no, what did you do? To react to the bad news and ask for more information, you can say, oh no, really? For example, we had to cancel our trip because my daughter got sick. Oh no, really? Yeah, she'll be okay, but she's really disappointed she couldn't go to Disneyland. That's rough. We generally say that's rough to respond to bad news that is difficult or unfortunate, but not very emotional. For example, I'm going to have to work overtime every day this week. That's rough. But don't use it in more emotional situations. For example, our dog died yesterday. We're all devastated. He was like a member of the family. Don't say that's rough because this bad news is emotional. Instead, it would be better to say, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Anytime you need to talk, just call me. Say this if you want to offer to listen to your friend. It's common to use this phrase when someone is going through a current difficulty. For example, My husband and I have been arguing a lot lately. It's gotten so bad that I hate going home every day after work because I know we'll probably have a fight. I'm really sorry to hear that. Anytime you need to talk, just call me. A similar phrase that you can say to people who are currently experiencing difficulty is if there's anything I can do, just let me know. For example, I'm so stressed out. I have a million things to do and not enough time in the day. If there's anything I can do, just let me know, okay? When responding to bad news, the tone of voice, the emotion when you speak, is important in how you say these phrases. Don't say them in a happy or excited way. Instead, speak in a quiet, compassionate way to show that you care about the other person's feelings. If you want to learn English for daily life, check out my Everyday English Speaking course. You'll learn the phrases you need for many situations in everyday life. Click on the link in the video for more information and free sample lessons.